You know what it is. Yeah, the yeah. episode number six we at now. Episode you know? six. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, we are on episode yeah. six featuring oh. Mr. Luando Jamini. Yeah, sure, sure. He's an sure. artist, bro. This man, sure. this man's work is really inspiring I, I think i went to your first exhibition bro back when you were still in varsity 2016 yeah, yeah. you know i attended a um no not even 2016 i'm lying it was 2017 bro and bro i, I remember dog, the story that you shared bro with with your, in with your work but uh status long fella la pega nah try am what young king to bra ah ngazi me flyer bra ngazi me kufuna asaz asaz me tinje mangboza so so let's do this nah that we are sure no parents whatever you comfortable with that sure, you know sure, sure. um the rest of our english audience who are who, who's, who's listening bra about the dictionary bra you know and just <laughs> and just oh, you know, so you know what it is bro as i was saying dog, like yo e, your arts and i am dog, like speaks volumes in the story that you you told behind you know the the art dog. that shit yeah. really touched me and even <clears throat> yenza Uguti, you know i must I, I need to also look at the art that i make you know sure. In terms of how does it impact people and how does it impact society you know because i'm sure better would see even now with bro you're not creating work as a lender or lender uh, as about relevant only mind you but also you wanted to you know you want even kids to study it like 200 years from now what's yep. up with that like, what's your story bro behind your your art in your fit yeah it's just a Times change, experiences change us. It's like a whole journey of metamorphosis that we go through. Yeah. <clears throat> the art that I made at the time that you specifically referring to, it dealt more with, it looked more into like, it primarily focused on like my it was autobiographical the art that i was making it was about me and experiences that i had been through haven't gone to hospital like twice you know um you know i was like in a coma at the age of 10 for like six months completely paralyzed and had to relearn everything from scratch yeah well and then 10 years later when i was 20 <clears throat> got attacked again by corrupt police ended up in a coma you know but the second coma was much quicker it was like three weeks or something um so my 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 interest at the time was the sensibility and the vulnerability of the human body mm. you know I think that the human body is both fragile and extremely powerful at the same time. Yeah. I think that doctors are doing an amazing job studying the body, but even when we're born, they, they don't fully like grasp it, like they don't fully get it. Yeah. I mean, <clears throat> I've been told by doctors, what are yeah, no, not going to make it. What in what in what in the the body is mysterious. Mm. So that art, that first <clears> art, <throat> like that I was looking at, was was really really just that, you know. And then I gave you the catalog earlier on. Yeah yeah yeah. Um, these are two catalogs you have here, bro. Um, you got. So you say the the, fir- the first edition was Triumph. Mm. You know. Then, so let's talk about triumph. Yeah, let's talk about triumph. So first. to what I've just told you. Yeah. And to triumph, like yeah. the meaning. Mm. So like my focus here was, I I'd really like to call this my kind of breakthrough, you know, mm. because 
I was very, very vulnerable. You know, like just really, really mm-hmm. focusing on the vulnerability. I even have like on the paintings, I even have like chopped limbs, etc. Yeah. And I was just focusing on that. But also the meaning behind that was the meaning trying my focus or my message was you know emerging triumphant from adversity you know you're like okay now you done been through this shit mm. but you you, you, you you always stood you know you're always yeah. there <clears throat> you know triumph basically it's triumphant you know i focused a lot on that so here i was talking a lot about what i just told you yeah like i was talking a lot about the vulnerability the sensibility my experiences what i've been through how i felt how i feel how i might feel in the future and then when it got to this two years later on the second um catalog learning how to be brave yeah. but i like how you how you scratched out less afraid, less afraid. you know so yeah like just to quickly unpack that so yeah. my learnings at the time so i listen a lot and read a lot from jordan peterson yeah, yeah, clinical yeah. psychologist jordan peterson i actually got that from listening to him i coined it from listening to him he was talking about the difference between being less afraid and being brave mm. you know there's a difference there that you know being less afraid and being brave yeah there's there's a difference damn know. unpack that for us man so um yeah i have to just try and remember but so being being less afraid uh i'm okay so boy yeah i mean even for you man it doesn't necessarily need to be yeah, his yeah, yeah. definition but yours yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah no it's, it it's my yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah how how i see it so yeah. Like being less afraid is being cautious, moving like cautiously, um, being steady, kind of like measuring your your movement. You know, you like okay, basically being safe. You know, yeah. You you let you're not afraid, but you're being safe. know you you like kind of you have your safety belt on mm. you know you 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 you're moving cautiously mm. and then being brave you like you you more you you're being more vulnerable when you're being brave mm. you like you 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 just dive in so you you like i don't give a fuck what happens mm. you know it's it, it, it it's gonna sound a little bit uh, unhealthy like but it's it's almost like you know what fuck this shit i'm gonna just do it i'm gonna just do it yeah, yeah well yeah you know um yeah. so yeah so being brave is, is is like you 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 you're facing these challenges voluntarily you're like okay i'm well aware what they can do and how they can harm what in what in what in but I want this. Mm. So you've been brave, you know, you're going against all odds. Mm. You know, um so yeah, I was I was talking more about that and that's also like where I was where I am. Yeah. You know. So yeah, it's 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 that and and then also like this is also when I had stopped talking about this broken boy Orlando then gone through hospital i i used to be convinced that i was just dealt a bad hand in life mm. you know um and did you come out of you know because <clears throat> you went through triumph you know that exhibition got to a place of learning how to be less afraid actually brave you know learning how to be brave um so it's Hey, man, I've spoken about this in a minute. Yeah, no, shut it's, up, man. It's, uh, 
it's like I didn't see it all. Like, what else can you show? Yeah. It's like it's it's that kind of thing. It's mm, just like mm. I don't give a fuck what happens. Yeah. Yeah, like it's 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 those things. You here to tell a story and you here to leave a mark. Man, why are you making me emotional? <laughs> <laughs> Um, it's called it's called conversations with us, brother. Um, it's a it's but a yeah, space man. to to help the listener because there are listeners that are out there listening to this conversation, you know, and will be inspired by your story. Will be inspired by your work. We never know who's listening. We never know who's watching. And I believe we would see. Stories like this, stories like yours, stories like everybody else who's been on this show, there is somebody out there that needs to hear it, you know, because perhaps they're on the edge. Perhaps they believe, I would say, they were dealt a bad hand in life. And yeah, man, so that's, that. so, like, I guess that's what both these, um, catalog exhibitions have in common it's yeah. like regardless like regardless it's at the most basic level what I say used to say still do say to myself is giving up is not an option man. like it's not an option at all like you have to be very vulnerable if you want to be brave. Like you go against it all. Man. Mm. Like you go against it all, and that comes a lot from believing in yourself. Like you have to believe in yourself. Mm. You have to believe in what you do. Mm. And believing in yourself most of the time involves you silent, silenting all the outside noise because you're gonna yeah. get a lot of like. No, it's like a lot of advice, blah blah blah. I'm not saying advice is bad, but at the end of the day, nobody knows what's best for Luando besides you. Besides you know. Yeah. So it's it's just being that vulnerable and listening yeah. to that. It's really profound what you said right there, man. Nobody, in order to be brave, you need to be vulnerable. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, um, sometimes we think that bravery is not being vulnerable um bravery is soldiering up you know putting on your arm and being like yo my nigga i'm unbreakable type shit you know but i feel Uzi, and it's very profound what you're saying and it's so true actually Uzi, bravery is being vulnerable and my man like you know so and we go through these experiences. Hey man, I don't know what it is, but I'm super emotional right now. Maybe it's also what I'm going through. But the thing about this whole thing, like you do it, you do it, you do it. And then you kind of get to that point where you've kind of emerged triumphant from most of these challenges mm. or all these challenges mm. and then new level has a new devil mm. yeah. my challenges now are not the same challenges i had at the time we were, we were living together back in 2016 and stuff yeah you know like then back then it was more like your basic stuff like financial blah 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 yeah. blah blah now i can take care of basic shit yeah now the challenges are different now the challenges are different you know and new label, and new also different. and also i haven't gone through all these experiences like coma blah 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 attacked by police blah 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 being convinced that i just have a bad luck in life blah 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 and actually not dealing with that shit. Mm. You know, yeah, man, I think, I think what I'm feeling right now is that, like, yeah, like. What do you mean when you say not dealing with that shit? 
So I told you, I, I, I then like overcome all all, all those stuff, like yeah, those yeah, basic yeah. stuff. Yeah. It's the internal shit that, yeah. like, you know, never really sat down and spoke about these things. Mm. You know, tonight, I see you don't know these psychologist things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and these things, to what's in the card. you know, but I was never that though. Now, being learned what to be kind, mm. like, I've, I've never been afraid to be vulnerable. Mm. I'm still not afraid of being vulnerable. It's just <laughs> there are just things I, I didn't deal with, you know, yes. like, and those little things they are emerging now, mm. you know, in romantic relationships. Mm. You know, um, friendships, like those little finicky things, mm. they emerge. Mm. You know, like, hey, fight. So it's about, t- it's, it's about also finding how to address it yeah. um, in your alone time. And yeah. you know what I'm getting from you is that not everything that you feel you can address through your art. Not everything that you go through internally can be addressed through art, you know, or or resolved through art. There's also other it, methods and ways a, that need to come in and one needs to practice. It's a step. Yeah. Think of it as doing my art was step number one. For yeah. Me. I didn't do that. Yeah. I stopped making art for people. I made art for myself. Yeah healed myself you know and then taking it further is the facing it mm. having discussions about it mm. you know like those little traumatic experiences they have a very sneaky way of coming up yeah 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 <clears throat> you know i know now with my girlfriend one thing i'm learning is that what that i'm learning about myself is yeah, sure, I'm a great boyfriend and shit. But I also like have some uncertainty, and I've been trying to search this past few days where it's coming from. You know, I have some insecurities. You know, I really, really tried searching which maybe is in previous relationships but I also at the same time I never really had like an actual actual relationship mm. so I was like I was you know I'm, I'm for sure that it's not that and to my surprise early this morning I was thinking where it's coming from you know because I've been asking myself I've been wondering been searching where, where, maybe where is it coming from I mean, I'm still not sure, but I'm still questioning myself. But what I thought of this morning is that maybe it came from my upbringing. Mm. Grew up with a single mother who had, I had a stepfather. I remember them having great memories. And then at some point, nigga didn't just fuck up. And I just watched my mom like going through shit, man. Like she was like drinking alcohol and only to like yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. She was drinking alcohol, started seeing boyfriends coming in and out, and that shit like hurt me. Definitely. I was I was a kid. I never ever addressed that. I'm even now like I've never spoken about this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this morning I was like, I'm sure it must be that, mm. you know, like, mm. I'm sure it must be that. Hey, man. Do you think you, you, you can reach um, those points in, you know, in your own mind when you're in a crowded space? Because, I mean, you, you live in a very nice open space, um, secluded. Uh, where you can wake up every day, come to your studio, you know, put in the work, you know. Um, but, and I want um, so, to, I'm not going to use the word dangerous, but how do you, do, do you think those revelations that you get to, can you get to them 
in a crowded space. So, I don't know when it can get to one. I don't think. I don't. I, I don't think there's like a specific. Think of it as a thief or death. Suburbs or hood, either way, you are going to die. Yeah, definitely. But of course, suburb, your chances, let's say, look at the cause of death, maybe like um, like something like being shot at or robbed, stabbed, mm. or whatever. Suburbs, obviously, <laughs> chances are, are less. Um, not saying they can't happen. But not saying they can't, but they they, they the just chances are yeah, less. yeah 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 they yeah. decreased. Where in the hood or in a very quiet like um, in a very loud like Joseph CBD for example is like yeah. you know. So I think because 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 also I'm gonna come back to this point because also I told you earlier on I was here mm. a few years ago yeah and I was. At this in CBD job. Let me tell you this: I needed to be there. Yeah. Because I really, really learned more about myself by moving from Cape Town to Joburg mm. and being exposed to Joburg CBD as it is, and also me having the habit of just being vulnerable and just going in. Like I was going in to Joburg, and like I said, Joe's. Like I yeah. promise you, when you as it, like mm. you know, had learned the ins and the outs. You know, like younger Lono, but it also got me to tap on like on something very, very inner. Mm. So I think, to coming back to your question, so I think, Mina, the reason, I didn't done all that. Mm. You know, I didn't done all that. Now I'm in a more quiet and really just facing my ghosts you know now i'm really really getting into luando which is what's up you know and it scares me sometimes you know because it's 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 a very often uncomfortable kind of feeling because you're not used to it Mm. You're not used to facing these things. Yeah. So I think with me, they emerging up now because, like, obviously, once older. I, I, by the way, I turned thirty like a few weeks ago. No way! Um, Happy birthday, dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know. So it's also it's also like that, man. Like you didn't done all these. I think. I think what we go through in life, you just. You, you kind of tick all the boxes, all mm. the boxes. I didn't tick those boxes. I didn't tick those boxes. I didn't tick those boxes. But now, in order for me to move on from this box, the current situation seems to be like now I just have to deep deeper in. Mm. Now I think I'm really digging deeper in. What happened? You know, like. Like I said, it came to me as a revelation this morning. I was actually taking a shower when I was thinking about it. Mm. You know, I was asking myself, like, where can this possibly be coming from? Mm. You know, I think, I think, I, I might be wrong, but I think, it, it, like, it's that. Just having to see my mom go through those things. You know, I was, I was young, but I was also old enough to see what was happening. Mm. You know, and it, it it subconsciously yeah traumatized you without actually actually knowing, knowing. Would say, yeah, well, you know it's traumatizing you. But and this is like what, it's like fucking twenty years or what? Like you, you, some, you, see what you know, like, so damn, that's crazy, bro. It's, like, it's that thing, man. Like, and I think that's something that um that we as people um underestimate. You know the. The effect of trauma, you know, and how trauma affects us even as a, like, like from a young age, and only those traumas start surfacing, you know, 
at an older age if you remember the film yeah. that we just watched now yeah. um that chick the reason why she's she does everything she does is because she is post traumatic stress disorder and she's trying to find a way of dealing with it and the unhealthy ways of dealing with shit and the unhealthy ways of dealing with shit you know and when we do the workshops sometimes i ask the question we would say all right who's the villain in the story is it her or is it not her you know and you know one one awesome qu- answer that we once got was that yeah she starts it off a victim but then she ends up being a perpetrator you know but yeah we need to understand that it's not her fault it's trauma so going back to what you're talking about and what we're talking about when it comes to trauma you know um and i think listeners also need to understand this so would see uh i don't think it's anybody's fault to be yeah, honest with you yeah. because <coughs> sorry because i think at least maybe when it happened it was whoever's fault it was but now yeah. i think it's it's now my thing you know like, to work on yeah like it's not anybody's fault that my mom was going through what she was going through yeah it's not my fault that um unconsciously that fucked me up psychologically yeah yeah, yeah it's yeah. not like the focus is not on mm, whose who, fault who, it was who, yeah who. what's on hand mm. is how do i deal with it mm. like let me face it mm. let me recognize it because mm. yeah because like you can't you can't fix a problem by starting to point fingers mm. you know first wow. point it pen point it yourself that okay sure this is what happened and the most important thing that helps me go through even today is pointing at myself but also at the very same time and most importantly is forgiving myself mm. i forgive myself for what i went through I forgive life for the experiences that it gave me. Mm. You know, there was there was a time. So my favorite color is pink. Mm-hmm. If you look at these paintings like yeah, pink yeah. keeps on reappearing. It's, it's a theme, yeah, it's yeah. a theme. It's my favorite color. Mm. I was once asked why is it my favorite color. Mm. I was I wasn't sure, but now I know. Mm. I think because of my past, I used to grudge a lot. I I I couldn't spell the word forgive. I I did not know. I did not have that in my vocabulary. Mm. And then later as I grow, and then I started learning forgive, you know. I started by forgiving myself. Mm. And then that's where I linked the pink. Like the pink is such a like it's such an innocent color. It's such a you can't you like come on man yeah nothing pink is bad <laughs> like you know <laughs> yeah, so yeah, yeah, in yeah. many ways pink has taught me and still continues to teach me to forgive mm. so back to that i don't think it's a matter of pointing of pointing fingers. yeah i don't think it's important whose fault it was mm. what's important mm. is like where we are now mm. where one where one is mm. um like mentally and really just forgiving yourself first and then giving the situation mm. and whatever and, and and you know what's profound about that what you're talking about um forgiving yourself is is not easy you know and you know you talk about how ukuthi uqala ngokuthi uzixolele wena yeah you know mm-hmm. most of the time humans will find it easier to forgive other people and forgive a situation but then the thing that causes them to keep coming back to that particular moment or to whatever is going on so is is that they haven't forgiven themselves you know and it's very enlightening so sure. would say you know you say it had to start with you first you had to you had to look at, at yourself first and be like okay this is me nalwando this yeah. is what's up this is what's going on and i think it's because of this and this in this sort of situation and in order for me to be able to move on 
I need to first say, Luando, I forgive you, you know, for going through whatever it is that you went through. And start over. And start over. It wasn't start, your fault. I, I start over every yeah. day, man. Until today, I start over every day. Mm. You know, like I told you about the past weekend. Mm. You know, I'm not, I'm not proud of the past weekend, but, mm. you know, I'm coming to terms to, like, it's start over. It, 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 it happened. And it's important okay. for you in order to be able to move forward. It's a very important thing to balance, to not go fuck up and say that I'm going to forgive myself. Mm. You know, you have mm. to be very honest with mm. yourself. Because if you do the same shit over and over again, it means you're not really willing to change at that particular moment. You have to hate the way that you feel so that the next time you're going to do it and just remember how you felt and how much you hated that feeling. Yeah. I didn't had this before. Earlier on, I was like fucking beating myself up because like I just have this horrible feeling. Like, why the fuck did I do? It's almost like I want to understand. It's almost like getting drunk, mm-hmm. and then you're going to tag you like tag you tag you. Yeah. You can't do shit. TP lens you love. Your mind is awake. Yeah. 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 You know like. Even if you are puking, whatever, like you are aware of what's happening. Man, okone, like you can't, you can't do. You do you know how much you hate yourself at the time? Yeah, my nigga. So it's remembering that feeling. (laughs) Ever, it's just trying to remember that feeling of which is when this happened. I'm really, really gonna hate myself. Mm. So you try to avoid that. So you know what you're talking about right now, bro, is self awareness. You know, you're talking about self awareness, and I think once as a human. Yeah. You start being self-aware, you know, of the shit that you're going through and the shit that's happening to you. Um, I think you get to those points where you get to um, much quicker because, one, in order for you to say you forgive yourself, it means you're taking responsibility yeah. for your actions, yeah. which a lot of humans, as much as we say we mature and shit, that's something that's very hard to do you know it's yeah. easier to shift the blame yeah. rather than to take the blame yourself mm-hmm. meanwhile knowing very well that you had an option of actually not doing that mm. you know and oft- so often we find ourselves saying Ish, if only if only i did that if only i did that i wouldn't be in a situation like this and what you're saying is that it doesn't matter that if only, if only, doesn't really matter mm. because now that you trying to look for things to blame. But now when you look at yourself, look at yourself and point, you start pointing to yourself, point the fingers at you yourself. like, yo man, th- 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 this is what I went through and this is what I need to do, mm. you know. So bro, um, now talking about now i mean okulekasi bro sure but you were exposed to suburb suburbia you're also exposed to urban you know um what has been like some of the most things that upset you about society when you zoom out and just look at it yeah no. <clears throat> I think all challenge like no one deserves to live a gas gas is a mess not all of us make it out there yeah it's a fucking like we should all be grateful for making it out there because yeah, as it is like I said guys, like, no one deserves to live a nobody like deserves a to live a dog, yeah. you know um, and then, as, as you said, it's just being self-aware of what challenges are at hand at that particular time in your life. Mm. You know, like, I, I think I've, I've been fortunate to kind of always being able to do that, like, mm. to see what I need to take care of. But mostly, like, it starts, it starts with not being happy with something. If you're not happy with something, you look into that. Like, you literally chill and ask yourself, what is it that I'm not happy with that I'm doing? 
Nyaba. And then look back and Like it takes it takes it, it takes a little bit a lot of self introspective. Mm. Remember, I mean uh, like uh, during my student days like even man Vogadrick said me, you know, I would wake up Lala Mong all on your like and just listen to my body like you know, like kind of touch myself like Kulum and arm like Rwanda, how are you feeling? You know, what are you not happy with? You know, what is it that you need to do that's going to make you happier? In many, many, many ways is at first you have to be selfish. You know, you first focus on what is it that you're not happy with? What is it that you want to improve on? You know, and then that's also kind of like the manifestation of things. I was mm. actually listening to a talk last night. Like it's the manifestation of things. Like this this lady, um Mel, um, she has a YouTube channel, I'll share it with you. She talks about because earlier on in my life, I, I you know I used to hope, 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 hope. I was like, there's nothing we have in life but hope. Mm. What I'm now learning is that yeah, no, hope are for kids, eh? We're not kids. Hope are for kids. Damn, you know, we go, We go for shit. Like, you, you, you put it in your mind. Look, this is what I want. And I'm going to execute. And then I'm getting it. Not to go to know, I hope. I hope it's going to happen and you don't have you any manifest action. manifest that shit, eh? Mm. You tell yourself, you see yourself. Mm. Either way, it's mm. like, mm. 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 You start mm. seeing yourself. Mm. Yeah. You start practicing with mm. it. Mm. That took me back a bit. Yeah. But the hope is okay. Like, Damn. You know, it's like one of those. Like, that is sure. Yeah. Man, you saying and, and a whole lot of profound kids. things, man. And we're not kids now. Yeah, you, you, you're saying a whole lot of profound things and like um and it's crazy because no, I mean, it's, it's just a, a lot of self-aware. I mean, I'm, I promise you, I'm very, very far from being perfect. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, man. No, it, it's beautiful. And when I, when I say it's profound, um, I mean, what's it to? It's when you start thinking about it. Um, one thing um, that said, uh, uh, the thing was, uh, it was in a film that I watched, I think of Batman, where the worst torture in hell i mean the worst torture you know that you can do to someone is give them hope and they see hope but they know that they can't get to that shit you know um so how bane tortures these prisoners that are in that fucking prison of his is that they can see freedom up there bro but in order to get there, you need to climb this impossible climb, you know? And what makes the Batman be able to, or Bruce Wayne rather, yeah. be able to break out of that hole is what you're talking about now, is that it's not good enough to just hope. You have to put that action behind it in order you can to, to manifest it you know and it goes back to what you were talking about here mm. if you remember he couldn't make it out the hole with the rope on him because he, he was less afraid he was doing that shit being less afraid but as soon as he took on bravery and took off the rope he was able to then manifest and get out of that place you know which is really um, amazing because again, it goes to that whole introspection, um, staying with yourself, being alone, and cause taking what, risks, mm. being and having faith. You know, like when when I say faith, this mm. has nothing to do with religion or like. Yeah, yeah. But having faith in Zuguti, listen, listen. Mm. Yeah, well, you, you, you. So you, faith and hope is different. So I'm actually thinking about it as I'm talking. So I think. I think so faith is like it's probably similar actually yeah I think faith is probably similar but also like I think the way that I'm talking about faith 
is in a sense of actually believing. It's believing. Yeah. You know, it's taking up that road. Like, do what the fuck are you doing? You know, taking up that road. It's something that needs to be done mm. at that moment for that moment. Whereas I yeah. hope so has a little bit of doubt. Yeah, yeah I hope how yeah, you doubt and you're kind of putting it to you, you're not taking the full responsibility. Mm. Kind of kind of putting, you know, like mm. responsibility. Mm. Sometimes you're like, yeah, maybe I mean I'm not um I'm not uh, going against the machines last year start doing yeah 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 but also my personal view what laban do battling a hope if i go to just gonna give you a little puppet face hope you know for me mm. that's that's hope mm. like you're hoping on like shit like mm. my thing oh, is and then you're just on your knees praying instead of watering yeah it. instead of actually watering it like mm, dude, you have both your, you have both your feet you yeah. can speak you can stand here for hours and like don't you think you could have been doing something else mm, hey, mm, 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 mm. so i think it's like that damn i'm gonna go into that though um just gonna play a little devil's advocate because i, I fully sure, understand sure. what you're saying i fully sure. understand what you're saying um is somebody else who might say Uti, but then you know those people think that that is the best way to go about it we have been privileged enough to go to to get an education you know to understand what there's many ways of going about life you know um so i want to p- ask it to you Uti, do you and again i guess this is also going to go to um pointing the finger but don't you think we would say um our economy is sort of responsible for the amount of people that are on the street um i mean yeah i guess to an extent but also and you said something about to those people think it's the first way i mean when i was a kid i wanted to be a traffic cop i thought that was the best way to go about mm. shit mm. now i'm like traffic cop traffic cop like, i think it's it's not opening up to yourself mm. yeah. have you seen even with your friends that you grew up with how still limited they are what they're thinking you are my dog yeah, well, trust so me it's that thing yeah. you would like just, just pull my job. like get out like, just get Go out take risks yeah yeah you know so i think it's just a thing of taking risks like once again pointing fingers at government dude like get, leave, the, leave leave those people alone do your those shit. niggas don't care yeah like <laughs> do your shit man like yeah like yeah and i'm not sure like my thing is like if you want something done like do it yourself yeah yeah Everyone? i 100 percent agree with that bro and then also my thing is also like sorry i don't care if i fail or not what i do do know is that at least mm. that's all that matters to me and you know the book um called conversations with god it says the biggest sin that you could ever commit is not being true to yourself exactly and i think that that goes back to you know the advices that you receive you know from people the suggestions you know because they think they know what's good for you uh because oh no i've experienced life way before way before you you know so i know the shit that i'm talking about ah, come on. but another those, philosopher those, those says are... you know another philosopher says y- you can't live your life through someone else's experiences yeah man like we, we like this is a known rule like those people are projecting their fears on you mm. just mm. because they couldn't do it they're like mm. Mm. i don't think that's a good idea yeah ne? i know my grandfather 
and my cousins growing up. Yeah. They were like, no, you must uh, be, uh, you must be employed uh, by the government. Mm-hmm. Never. Saying here, yeah, even, family, even, bro. even, even all my cousins now, like my cousin sister, like dude, it's not even a fucking joke. I promise you, if you go to the East Cape where I'm from, you no. Know, like you see, like firstly, there's just a lot of Laminis, but because for me, so in the mm-hmm. there's a lot of Laminis. Most of them are bonnets, are bonnets, are bonnets, are bonnets. You know that thing of that, and, and, and that's a common thing. Like yeah, I, 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 th- I think it's it's actually common in a whole lot of spaces, bro. In a whole lot of black areas. Um, yeah, yeah. Like Melus look government. Yeah. You know, so and then I remember, I mean, like. I was a teenager. A family member was like, "Are you sure you want to be an artist? Why don't you get uh, like a more honest career?" Mm. Never. Yeah, I was a teenager. I obviously like, I, and, and I was kind of looking up to mm. these people. Yeah. And I was like, "Yeah, ish, I think you are right, eh?" Never. Yeah, and I'm always grateful. And they'll give you all the examples of niggas that didn't make it. Never. Yeah, well, I'm always grateful having been around artists mm. and doing art as girl, you know, because you know, like, and then I started seeing like artists like that are actually doing it. That's the hope that I like, you know, I was younger, so was, yeah, was the hope, yeah. Um, so I was looking, I was like, shit, actually, no, there is something there. Fast forward now, this is my family, I can talk about them. Straight. Fast forward now, bonke, bro, like, I'm not even making this up, like, bonke. They're like, Ulwando is living their best life, and I promise you. Living the dream. Ulwando is living their best life. Yeah. Bona, yeah. They all on their nine to five, yeah. in, 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 in. Hey, me na yo, dude, like me na, I fucking sleep the whole week. Yeah, 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 yeah. but it's like. But also yeah. this darkness within that. Cause with you great, know, with this great power, it comes great, great responsibility. Comes great responsibility. God damn. She's really good spider man. We heard that shit, a spider man, bro. Mm. And and you know which one, uh, which leads me to a question of Uwuti. Do you ever? Ask the creator Uwuti, why did he give you such a great mind? Because he has a profound picture where <clears throat> the person with no mind at all, and I don't mean no brain or whatever, but there's the person the, doesn't the, want the, to there's use different it. levels of genius in the world, my dog. You sure. know. So the person with no mind who is conformative and just wants, you know, to live this safe secure life is smiling right um the person with um medium-sized mind excuse is, me what's your perfume this perfume that i'm wearing um it's my own concoction bro it's called playboy mm-hmm. yeah You can get a perfume from Dripville for only 200 rand. You've got a special running where you get three for 500 rand sure. and two for 350. Sure. Yeah, my dog. You're gonna t- you, you, you wanna smell them though right before we bounce. So. Oh, yeah, oh. yeah, dog. <laughs> Shout out. Yeah, Shout yeah, out, my homie. It's, it's there. The smell is there. It's there. It's there. <laughs> it's very, very there. Eh? <laughs> Shout very, out, very bro. There. Shout out. Um, but then the person with the great mind. The permanent, um, not, well, not permanent state, but the natural state mm-hmm. is not sadness, but it's, it's, it's just a straight face of always thinking of the future, being present, but also thinking about the future. Yeah. You know, so do you ever get that moment where you ask the creator, what's your, why did he give you such a great mm-hmm. mind? Yeah, so I never think I have a great mind. Um, I just always think that we all have 
the way to reach it. Mm. We all have the way to reach it. Um, <clears throat> what is this saying? Our deepest fear is not very right. inadequate. Yeah, our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. Mm. So I've had those moments and I've, I've, I've looked closely into that. And that really, for a very long time, played as a, as a motivation, you know. My thing, especially going back to this thing of like seeing artists doing stuff, my thing was then like, but Ima, wait, this guy is like, he's another human being, he's like me. Okay, leave the another human being part because that's obvious, but I was like, but no man, the outline is so good, like, if I'm not a nam, it's obvious, I'm not going to be one, you know. Like, yeah, well, mm-hmm. and then all of a sudden, boom, this doing guy. all this thing. Yeah. And then for me, it was always like, the fuck out of here. If you can do that shit, I can do it too. <laughs> you know, so it, it was kind of stuff like that. Man. Yeah. Like, it, it has never been a thing of, no, you have a greater mind. No, I don't, I don't think so. Yeah. I don't think you have a greater mind. It's just, it's, it's, uh, the mind is, is like a muscle. Mm that you train and train and train, you mm. know. I've started going back to jogging, you know, that's the thing that I used to do a lot, like I run, I used to run a lot. I'm, I'm not a sprinter, I'm a long distance, like I would yeah, run I long Yeah, I think you distance. and me are the same, dog. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And, and there's just this mental training that mm. being a long distance that runner does. That happens in does. the process, yeah, 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 yeah. Because it's that ability to yeah. like, to, 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 uh, what's the word? Finish what you started. Yeah. Being yeah, patient. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, yeah. 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 dog, my nigga, and, I mean, you, did you do cross country, um, like, in, in, in high school and shit? Yeah. Did you do cross country ever? Mm, what's cross country? Where you, running long <coughs> distance, uh, running long distances, like you say. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Early, early in my high school career. Yeah. <laughs> So earlier I was yeah I was I was doing long distance yeah because mm. that shit is my nigga if you stop halfway who's gonna get you to the finish line <laughs> you know? I actually remember I had a T-shirt that was written at the back don't stop when you're tired yeah stop when you're done when you're done yeah so it's like shit like that <laughs> man <laughs> Lando bro you dropping heavy bars here dog and I think. You know, our viewers, our listeners are going to really um, enjoy listening to you, bro, because you have told us quite a lot of things. One of the things that really stands out for us, bro, is in order to be brave, you need to be vulnerable. Yeah. And number two, don't look for places to blame or people to blame. Look at yourself. Take responsibility so that you can overcome sure new level comes with the new devil yep but you need to be strong enough because you've worked so hard to get yourself to that new level now Uh, you need to be strong uh, enough to replace that devil you just reminded me um this song nobody told me that i would be Something like the road. Yeah. Nobody told me that the road was gonna be easy. Don't, don't, yeah. Don't, don't, don't. Like, oh, yeah. No one told you that. Like, I'll play it after this. Yeah. I'll Google it. And play it. I mean, the road <laughs> is not easy. Mm. But one thing that I once read when I was going through one of my darkest times is that the Creator doesn't give a battle to a soldier <laughs> where the Creator knows that that soldier won't conquer that. You'll conquer every battle, and you don't conquer a whole lot of battles, and the then try the, 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 the biggest battle, man, is up here. Psychological battle. Yeah, the biggest battle is up here, man. Up Most here. people are it's afraid to spend time by themselves, though, because they're scared of their mind. I mean, yeah, sure, man, you can choose to be afraid. Um, you can choose to, to not face stuff. Mm-hmm. Being what you crowd. put in, what you put in in life is what you get back. You reap what you sow. <laughs> yeah, man. Like, <laughs> it's okay. You can be scared. It's it's all good, eh? It's yeah. all good. Yeah. Ask us, I will tell you. It's, all you. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine to be scared. 
Lando Zamini, ladies and gentlemen. Um, before we, we before we sign out, be just one more part, dog. One more part, dog. Drop us one more hard part, dog. You've been dropping bars, my nigga. You've been dropping hard. Bars. 150 bars. <laughs> hey, my nigga, be careful. Omega might come through. Quantum. I ain't got it. And Nungwabu might come through, so shit. But yeah, my nigga. Oh, like, man, I think, like, to be honest, Nina, I think. Like, this is what I'm going through. Be very, very honest with yourself. Mm. Dude, I can tell you stuff. Like, it's very easy for me to lie. It's very easy for everyone to lie. Mm. You know, I can even lie and know that I'm lying. Mm. <clears throat> but, ooh, here, here's an example. With us art painters. You know, most unsuccessful paintings of mine, while I was doing it, I promise you, it was whispering inside me that, nah, this painting is not, nah, it's not it, you know? Mm. It's not it, it didn't feel right, you know? But I was like, but no, man, you know? It's Luando Lamin, I'm just gonna see my signature, and then they're gonna like it, you know? But in honest, actual reality, deep down, I was like, Ish, I don't think this painting is, is like, a, it didn't feel right. And as a result, that comes across Kuspan, you know, like, that comes across Kuspan. It's, uh, I think it's also even like, umundunje indo yenza effortlessly indo. Like, same years, you know, like, if a painting, like, nah, I had then used a lot of, you know, like, it needs to, be effortless, you know, like, it hasn't been clogged in the hands of the room my hands are effortlessly. Um, I have these actor friends, like, when you watch them, you're like, you know, it's so effortlessly. They're not trying hard. Like, mm. they just effortlessly. So my take on that is that these people then went and being honest with themselves, you know, they've been honest with themselves and so for me it's like just just be very honest with yourself man. Mm. it's not an easy thing to do it's not an uncomfortable thing to do but just be very honest with yourself yeah Never. be very honest with yourself yeah be very honest with yourself. as hard as it is as hard as it is because man, be it means you taking responsibility mm. but as long as you're honest with yourself then it's you know yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Lando Jamini, you can get triumph as well as learning how to be brave on the internet, yeah? Yeah, yeah, just search Lando Jamini, you'll be good. Just search Lando Jamini and you will be good. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is Dingongo Bese saying, until next time, peace.